loving God, we thank you for the love that has brought us here today. Here in the beauty of your creation, we affirm and celebrate the love that exists between Caroline and Will. Surrounded by loving family and friends and enveloped in your love, may they fully experience the encouragement and joy of this occasion. Be with us, Lord, we pray, in these moments that lie before us. Amen. Family and friends, we have come together today to witness and to celebrate the marriage of Will Graham and Caroline Daniel. It is fitting for us to participate in this blessed day because we have witnessed and been a part of their journey to this occasion. We have seen their playfulness, their artistic expression, their love of life, their displays of affection, their dark days, their blissful reunion, and an ever-growing love for each other. Let me say a special word to their circle of friends. Ten years ago, we might have called you their posse. Most now refer to you as their tribe. By whatever name we call you, you have been their rock, their support, their encouragement, their safe harbor. You have been to them what the church ought to be, yet so often fails to be for one another. So I know Will and Caroline are grateful for your friendship, past, present, and future. Thank you for celebrating this day with you. Will the parents of the bride and groom please stand? And please join hands with your son and daughter. This beautiful couple did not get here all by themselves. They have been loved and nourished by you and your family since their birth. Now they lovingly choose to start a family of their own. Yet, in this endeavor, they will need your continued love and support. Steve and Jerry <coughs> Daniel, and Angus and Caroline Graham, do you wholeheartedly give your blessing to Caroline and Will on this day of their marriage, and do you promise to love and support the family they begin with their promises? Why have we come to this time and place? Well, a few months ago, most of us got a save the date card which said, Caroline and Will are getting hit. <laughs> okay? Let's go with that metaphor. It's a good one. Getting hit refers to hitching work animals together <laughs> to pull a plow or wagon. What are the advantages of hitching horses together? Horses are social animals. They naturally run in herds. They desire the companionship of other horses. Therefore, they will work better if they are working with another horse. We, too, are created with the desire for companionship. We find camaraderie in many ways. Friends, colleagues, neighbors, family, but perhaps most fully in a spouse, one whom we trust to become our lifelong companion. Through the experience of time together and time apart, you two have decided that time together is precious. Therefore, you freely and lovingly choose each other on this day to be lifelong companions. I like that you began your relationship as friends before it became romantic, because your lifelong companion will also be the best friend. Caroline, Will, y'all ready to get hitched? <laughs> Will. Do you freely and wholeheartedly <laughs> choose Caroline to be your wife? Caroline, do you freely and wholeheartedly choose Will to be your husband? 
And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. about your despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the green trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild beasts in the clean blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination. Calls to you like the wild beasts, harsh and exciting, over and over again. Will, please face Caroline and make your vows of marriage to her. moment and every moment to follow in love and friendship in heart and spirit I am and will be yours my mind body and soul to walk beside you to seek love alongside you to seek goodness alongside you to grow with you I am yours to hold you when in need of rest to talk to you when in need of company to be your mirror to reflect to you your own loveliness and strength when you forget what it looks like. Dear one, I am yours and I always will be. Caroline, please make your vows of marriage to Will. William. Do you know how much I love you? <laughs> a few years ago, we decided to call our relationship growing in our togetherness. And at the time, I think we liked that phrasing because it felt a little uh, less overwhelming or com uh, less committal than boyfriend or girlfriend. However, it's interesting how that phrase has taken on a whole new meaning throughout the years, especially now in this moment. Well, I am so stoked to be wholeheartedly <laughs> committed to growing and togetherness with you. Dear one, 
I am yours, open and ready to step into the unknown, to accept all challenges and joys as opportunities for growth, both as individuals and together. I am committed to fighting the good fight with you and for you, to inspire you to keep moving when you feel stuck and to feel safe to open up when all you want to do is close in, and to love you and hold you always through all seasons. I am open and ready to cultivate a deep and rich life with you, to seek and invest in compassion and generosity, patience and trust, wisdom and joy, curiosity and openness. To seek nourishment of body, mind, and spirit through the food we cook together, through the community that surrounds us, through mindfulness and prayer, and through listening to our body's wisdom and making space to take to tend to them as a team. You are my partner, my teammate, and my deepest friend. The one I am wholly myself with, the one who encourages me to ask the hard questions, laugh from the jolliest place in my being, <laughs> and tap into divine creativity. I am honored and inspired by your humble and endlessly open heart, by your grace and patience, and by the sheer joy that you bring to every space you encounter. William, I'm so excited to share my life with you. You are my favorite human in this world. I love you. especially cherished because they were designed and crafted by Will. <laughs> Good job, <though. laughs> The wedding band is a complete circle. It has no end. This is symbolic of the commitment that these two persons have made before God to each other to make this union a lasting one. The wedding ring is placed and worn on the finger. This is to be a constant reminder to each other of the love they have begin, been given, of the life which has been entrusted to them, and of the promise of faithfulness which they have made to each other. Will, please place this ring on Caroline's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a visible symbol of my eternal love and as a pledge of my faithfulness to you. Caroline, please place this ring on Will's finger and repeat after <laughs> me. I give you this ring as a visible symbol of my eternal love and as a pledge of my faithfulness to you. <laughs> Look at the hand of the one who is holding you. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. 
These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Will and Caroline, because of your faith in God and because of the faith you freely choose to place in one another, I bind you with this cord. Because you enter into this marriage with an active hope based on the love of life you share and on your willingness to bring that hope to fruition by working together for a bright future, I bind you with this cord. Caroline and Will, because of the love you now share and because today you have vowed to continue to love each other forever, I bind you with this cord. Disappointment arises, may it be vanquished with a love that is patient, kind, and trusting. Bless them, Lord, we pray. Amen. Will and Caroline, for the first time as husband and wife, <coughs> Congratulations to a wonderful couple. Happy marriage.
Hello, Caroline and Will. Happy wedding. No, of course not.